Welcome to Down the Vent. I'm Josh. And I'm Joe. <laughs> and today we are going over our top 10 games of all time. Yep. Our um, favorite. These are like the best games ever. Well, for us. According to us. According to us. No, they're just the best games ever. Okay. I'm fine with if that. If you think they're not, I, you're I'm, probably right. We're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> we're not going to tell them we're wrong. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we haven't played You nearly, are wrong. We've only been gaming for a few years, so we don't know all well, the games out there. How long have been gaming for? Uh, it's been five years now. 2012? Well, this would make this would be the 2013. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. We went to Gen Con 2012, but we really didn't play board games, and we played Hero Clicks. Why are we recording this for these people? Don't they don't know. care about this. <laughs> Let's get to the top ten. They want to know what our qualifications to give them a top ten. Are. Okay. Well, we own a lot of games. We run a board game convention, and what are games? <laughs> it's gonna be good. So. Start on number 10. Number 10. You ready? Yeah. For my number 10. You want me to go first? I can go first. Oh, you can go. <laughs> no, no, you go first. You go first this time. All right. This is one of your games. What? Yeah, no, you're not going to hear me say that a lot. I know. Honestly, but. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of amazing games. He does, yeah. They're just not top 20 material, I guess. They're close. Look at all the games of mine that you put on your list. Uh, true. Yeah, all right. True. So my number 10. It is Star Wars Rebellion. Ooh. Oh, good one. Good yeah. One. Yeah, yeah. I love Star Wars Rebellion. Yeah. We talked about it on the top 20. It was yeah, yeah. Years. I think it was my number 15. Right? Yeah. My number it's, 15. You're playing the original trilogy through it all. It's just fantastic. Yeah. Little miniatures, little Death Stars. Yep. Uh, Making man. ships, fighting people, deploying on... Yeah, and the rebels are hiding, and you don't... like The, yeah, the, the Empire's trying to find yeah, out where yeah, their base so is. It's a hidden base. It's just oh, like the movie. Yeah. And if they find it, you have to run or die instantly. <laughs> yeah, pretty so, much. It is a blast. I highly recommend it. Yes, good. All right, what do you got for number 10? My number 10 is a originally a two-player game. They expanded it to make it a three-player game. Santorini? Santorini. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Oh, yes. I'm just guessing. That's good. Good guess. Good Thanks. guess. So, Santorini, uh, super, super, super simple game. It is literally, you move and you build. Yep. That is the game. And you have three stories, well, technically four stories you can yep. build. What you're trying to do is get on top of the third story. So, you can move, build the first story, move, build the second story, or the other person can build the second story. You can only go up one story at a time, so you'd have to go one story, two story, three story. But you can move down as many stories as you want, yep. but the other people can build where you're trying to go to, so they can block you off by capping off the third story of the building. Um, it's a beautiful game, so it's just like Santorini, it's all white, yep. and then the blue caps. Yep. And then you had the Kickstarter edition, so it has like, it's like up on a Yeah, it's up side. on a pedestal, so it's just like Santorini, which is on the cliff side. Yeah. Um, and mine came with the Golden Fleece Edition. Came with Which makes it a more gamery, like everyone gets special powers. Yeah, you get special power. So now instead of just moving and going up, now I can move up too, or I can yeah. move further, or I can... Build twice. Build twice, yeah. or I can build before I move, or yeah. just all sorts of crazy craziness. It's a really neat game. I, I forgot about that. I should have probably put that somewhere on my list. That was, that's a great game. It, it is a really good game. So that was my number 10, Santorini. Yeah, is gamery a thing? Is that a word? Gamery? Did I just make that More up? More gamery? More gamery? Yeah, why not? Okay. Well, that's our number 10, so we'll discuss <laughs> the words later, I guess. <laughs> Alright, now our number 9. What do you got? No, no, it's you. Oh, okay. You go first. I don't own this game either. But you don't own it either. Ooh. Super heavy. Super long. You're opening up a fast food chain. Ooh, yep. and it's food, food chain magnate. magnate. Yep, oh yep. my word, this game is so heavy. I thought I was gonna hate it because I'm not usually into like four or five hour games. But it's a fun game. It is a blast. You're opening the chain. You can sell burgers or fries or lemon, not fries, lemonade, yep. uh, shakes, shakes yep, uh, yep. beer. Yep. Um, and you can deliver it to people's houses apparently. <laughs> yep, yep. yep. Well, the, they're technically driving to you. Yeah. Because yeah. the house has to be only so far from the restaurant where they can't reach you and they go to wherever it's closest. Yeah, it's super cutthroat. Oh, yeah. And it's really oh, mean, yeah. but it is a fun game to play. Because you can make 
you can put up signs in neighborhoods so that advertise, it, yeah, so to advertise a certain food, and then those houses will only want to eat that type of food. Yep. Or they'll want the shake that you're advertising, but they also want a burger that he's advertising. And if you yes. can't give them a shake and burger, then they're not. They don't. They won't sell. They, they don't, don't. They don't want. They don't. Yeah, want they buy. won't buy your they stuff. Want, they yeah. want the shake and the burger now. So, yep. so they won't buy from either of you. <laughs> yes. Oh man. But yeah, super cutthroat. Really fun. Yeah. Longer game. Yep. Um, but what's nice about it is like um, the milestones in it is everybody can collect oh, yeah. the milestones on the same round. So, but once it's collected, it's gone for everybody else. So if yeah. you don't collect it at the same time, yep, it's you're gone. Just out of luck. Like the fridge, so you can store more food. Yeah. Those are neat, the milestones. It, the, the components are pretty crappy in the game, though, I would say. Kind of like Terraforming Mars. What? Terraforming Mars has crappy components. Okay, yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it's just like cards and like cardboard shits. Uh, yeah. It's an expensive game. It's not like it's like a cheap game. But no, it's no, fun. it is really. Why is it so expensive? All the cards in it? I don't know. The name. Yeah, it's a squatter game stuff. Okay. Okay, what's your number nine? My number nine is... Terraforming Mars. Yamatai. Oh, Yamatai. Yamatai, beautiful. yes. Beautiful, beautiful game. There's a bunch of islands, and you're sending out boats to pick up... Uh, there's like... I don't know if they would be considered resources. They're kind of like flower petals. Mm. You can get them to turn into the gods. Collect gods, and then you build uh, like houses on the islands. Temples and stuff, and right? And temples can be put out on islands. Yeah. Um, it's a really neat game because, like, you can affect the game on what you choose. Like, there's uh, cards that you draft from. There's, like, a set of, like, ten cards and only five are shown out. And they tell you what you can do. So you pick up a card and it's like, okay, I can switch two boats or I can switch two island pieces or I can buy an extra piece this time or I can reserve this. I really, really enjoyed Yamatai. It was a really good game. I think this was... Um, one of your favorite games of 2017. It was. So, yeah, I really liked it. That right. was my number nine. nine. Yeah. Number nine. Okay. On to number eight. Yep. I'm going to do mine this time. All right. Mixing it up. You better because mine's not good. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, you're going to. Go ahead. Yours is not good at all. Oh, mine is a two player game. Okay. It is a. Up and delivery two player game. Okay. It is Akrotiri. Oh, yeah. Akrotiri? Akrotiri? Is it Akrotiri? Akrotiri. It's Tiri. Akrotiri. Oh, okay. It's a good game. I <coughs> saw a picture of this game and it was tiles and islands, and I was like, the boats, and I was like, that is beautiful looking. I want it. Picked it up and it exceeded my expectations. Yeah. I was kind of like, eh two-player games and then we tried it and i was like what this game is fantastic because you play it from your perspective of where you're sitting on the on the table so my cards that i play is you're so there's temples out there mm, that's right um where like if so to be able to build my building i have to have so many volcanoes above me and so many that's right things yeah. to the right of me and so many things to the left of me um my cards looking this way will be set up different than his cards from the other side of the table. Yeah. So you're not really sure what they're going after, so you can't really yeah. affect where you place things because you don't know what they need, and they kind of don't know what you need. Right. But that is my number eight. Eight. After tiering. All right. So my number eight is where everyone shuts off the list. They're just, just, they're like, <laughs> they're done. unsubscribe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is uh... it. Yeah, this is where people lose faith. Okay. That's... Ready. Exploding Kittens. From number seven. Number eight. Number eight. Okay. Number Sorry. eight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number eight. eight, yeah. Exploding Kittens. That's fine. It I is. love this game. It is. It's stupid. It's like Uno, but with more mechanics, kind of. Yeah. Um, I just have a blast every time I play it. It's, it's so much fun. fun. People like it usually when they play it once. They're like, let's play again. Yeah. yeah. And I have the expansion out of the Imploding Kittens. And you play the Imploding Kittens. Yeah, I just got it. But when you get the Imploding Kitten the first time, you can't defuse it. You put it back in the deck face up somewhere. Ooh. So the next time, once someone draws it, it's literally sitting there face up on top of the deck looking at you. And you're like, I have to skip or I have to attack the next person. Like, you have to get around it somehow. Otherwise, you're done. Oh, that's nice. And it stays face up until someone draws it and dies. What if you can you defuse that? You cannot defuse the imploding kitten. What? Yeah. Oh, man. So the picture, literally, it's a giant cat eating, like, sucking the world into, like, a black hole. Wow. <laughs> so, like... It's a fun game. It came with a giant cone. I think it has a 
the seat. Where's that? No, I got no, it came with the cone. I don't know where it went. Oh, but really? It's a big cone because there's they added the reverse feature where you can reverse which way the, it's going around the table. Oh, okay. And if you forget which way it's supposed to go, you, you have to put this cone around your head, and it tells you it's got like arrows pointing which way it's supposed That's to funny. play is going. So like, you just look. It's a cone of shame. That's pretty funny. much. So don't forget which way. It's not a bad game. I enjoy it every time we play. I didn't know that you could turn like I was telling you last time. I didn't know you could turn in more than a pair. Like you can turn in. Yeah. A, uh, a triple and a quadruple. Yeah. Or a set of three and a set of four. Yeah. So either... So two uh, is you. they just give you a card out of their hand. Mm -hmm. Three is you can ask them for a card, goldfish style. Yeah. If they have it, they have to give it to you. And then four, you get to I think you, see their hand? or I think so, yeah. Or something like that. You, yeah. get, to, you get to choose one of your yeah. choice or something yeah. like that. So getting four of a kind is super rare in that yeah, game. Yeah. So. yeah, that's my number eight. Bunch, Exploding Kittens. Bunch of melon cats. Melon cat hair cats. <laughs> I don't have the not safe for work edition. I was I'm sure it's great too, but yeah. the original edition's fun yeah. and family friendly. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. All right. Number seven. Yep. Crossover. Are you ready? This crossfire, you mean? No, no, not crossfire. <laughs> this is where my crossover with my games. Well, on my list is going to cross over with you. You think so? Oh yeah. Well, For we already sure. had one, right? We had Ri or not Risk, uh, um, Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. Sight. Sight. Yes. It's not on my list. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sight is my number seven. I don't even have to explain why because it's that amazing. It is really good. Area control. Yes. A threat combat type of game. Oh. Or it's a four X game. It is a four X because you explore. There's not much fighting though. What? Really, it's more of the threat of war that uh, it's not. Really, there usually there's like three or four battles in the game. Well, it's because people are afraid to battle because then you lose reputation. Reputation, yeah. but just don't worry about that. Worry about something else. <laughs> right? You could, yeah. I because guess, this yeah. game, there's like fifteen different ways to win, like to yeah. stars to get stars, yeah. and you only need like ten stars or something six. like that. So six stars, and yeah. there's like fifteen ways. Yep. Um, so screw reputation. Battle, right. every, battle everybody and kill everybody off. True. It's good. But that is my number seven is Scythe. I love right. it. And you had the big Kickstarter edition with metal coins. And, yeah. and there's another expansion coming out this year that, oh, that makes, makes it legacy. Like, yeah, legacy. It's fun. also mo modules, like eight different modules you can add at any time, yeah. stuff like that. So I don't know if we'll do the legacy. It depends on how it changes. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it just changes the... Yeah, I wouldn't, want, I wouldn't want to change the original. Board. It's not technically legacy. It's more like Mechs vs. Minions was legacy, where you're opening packages okay, as you go along. Gotcha, gotcha. So you're not ripping up the cards or anything. Okay. So, um, what number we on? Seven. Seven. My number seven is a Seamon game. Oh. Area yeah, Control. Okay. It hasn't been on your list, though. No. It's based off a movie IP. Yeah. It is Godfather. The Godfather. Yep, the Godfather. Oh, Empire. Man. I almost put this on my list. <sighs> I love this game. It's just so smooth. It's probably one of my favorite games of 2017. Yeah, it's easy to teach. There's all these actions you can place people on the board, and you can either take the front of the house actions by putting a thug there, or if you put a family member, you get all of the back of the house actions that they're adjacent to. Back, yeah. And then you're putting, you have money the cards, and you're putting them in your little metal briefcase. And then the hardest thing that people don't understand is usually that when you go to bid. Yes. You uh, are bidding out of your briefcase. Yep. Not, not the money in your hand, but out of your briefcase. Yep. So the money that is your victory points, yep. you have to bid. And if you don't win... You get to keep it. You get to keep it. But if you do win, that money's gone. But you kind of get the benefit of a new character or yeah. a new card in your hand. Yep. But you can only hold, like, five cards. So that takes up one of your slots. You better choose something good. Right. Yeah. It's hand management, resource management. It's money management. Money management, everything. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's yeah. a really great, smooth... And streamlined as, game. And as the game progresses, it becomes more cutthroat. Yeah. You will... You're getting more people. Wipe out whole entire areas of the map and just throw everybody into yeah. the river. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yes. Um, you don't need to know the movie to like the game. I don't no, think because... So. I'm gonna see it. It's on Netflix right now. Watch it. Shame on me. All of them are. Shame on me. It's a lot. It's, yeah, they're like three hours each. Oh, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's my number seven. Uh, the Godfather Corleone's Empire. Number six. Number six. What do we got? What do you got? Okay, I'm going first. Yeah, you said yeah. this one already. 
Really? Yep, not in this section, but the last section. Okay. Alright. Okay. It's old game. Old oh, game. Okay, yeah, yeah. 180 different alien yeah, races. Yeah, yeah. Cows, and you're fighting there. each other to put your ships on other people's planets. Yes. Yeah. Colonize. It is Cosmic Encounter. Yes. It is great. It's been out for 40 years now at yeah. this point, I think. If you haven't played it, some people completely hate the game, so oh. I don't recommend just buying it. Yeah, because, like we were saying earlier, or in the previous, is all these characters pretty much break the, the rules of the game. Yeah. Like, you have a game-breaking character, and man, does it sometimes. Yes. The best part is that you you have you fight each other a lot in the game, but you can't target someone. Because there's it's, the encounter deck, yeah, you flip it up, and you have to encounter whoever the deck says you do. Because mm-hmm. it's the destiny deck, that's what it is. Destiny. Yep, the destiny deck, yeah. So, chooses your fate. Yep, I really love it. What's your number six? My number six is... Zion. Ooh, yeah. Such, Legends of a Drift System? Yeah, such uh, a good game. I love it. It's... Sandbox. Sandbox. You uh, go out and explore. And there's a pick up and delivery. There's a... Fight each fight other. Fight each other. I can ram your ship with my ship. I can shoot you with missiles. I can come up close and shoot you with my guns. I can have shields. Dice rolling. It's, That's, I'm, I, I'm gonna make this jump and hope that something bad isn't here and land on the sun and die. Yep. Yeah. That is the cool part. That's the probably the bad part and the cool part of the game, right? Is that it's dice rolling. Yes. Um, so if you have an engine that you roll a d12 to see how far you move, you can, can roll a one. Yeah, you can roll a one. one. <laughs> but the ships have benefits on them, so you can get a ship that goes. Um, yeah. Tractor beam, and I'm gonna tail somebody else, and yeah. he's gonna pull me along with it. Yeah, all the ships are different oh, and stuff. Man. Yeah, it's good. Zaya is a great game. Yeah, it, it might have been higher up on my list, but I, I had to, you uh, got other, you got priorities. I had, I had to choose. I had to choose. Yeah, it's your choice. Don't worry. Yeah. But Zaya, that is right. my number six. Okay. On door number five, we're in the top five. Top like five, five more to go of all time. Yeah, then you can stop watching. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and only that. Yeah, only you that. <laughs> You're trapped till then. Yes. So my my top five, my number five, is a game I've only played once, but wow. I loved it that much. Wow. I really, really loved it. It is one of my new favorite games. It's Azul. Azul, really? Yes. Wow. Yes. yes. I, I played it at our last board game small. Yeah. Like, Night thing where there was like ten of us there, played it, loved it. I'm excited to try it. Now. Um, just it's it's gonna be hit with my wife. It's gonna be hit with my kids once they get a little bit older. It, you're gonna like it. You will like it. Nope. It is, it is my number five, and it just came out. So okay, number five yeah, wow. of all time. Okay, obviously newer games are I'm gonna be higher up on my list. Okay, <laughs> I don't all know right. why. I guess that works. Yep. My number five is from Simon. Ooh, another Simon game. This one you said on your list too. Really? Yes. Okay. Area control, Vikings, oh, yep, yep, Blood, yep, yep. and Rage. And Rage. <laughs> I love Blood Rage. Um, I picked up all the expansions I could that weren't outrageously yeah, expensive. You, you didn't kickstart it, did you? No, this was they, it came out before I was kickstarting things. Yep. So uh, major regrets that I didn't start kickstarting a little bit earlier. <laughs> Man, that would have been because it looked amazing. Um, but. It is amazing. It amazing. Yeah, it looks amazing. I mean, yeah, it is amazing. I, mean, yeah. I wish I had the other few miniatures I don't have for the game, but eh, whatever. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it if, as long as you're not like, as long as you're okay with killing each other. There's a lot of fighting in oh, this yeah. game, and some of the cards help you. Like some of the cards give you bigger points for having all your people go to Mahala and being killed off. Yep, the Loki strategy. Yes, yeah, it's it's good for you to die because you get points for dying. So that is my number five, Red Rage. Yes, you go first. All right, okay. you said this on your list too already. What? We are getting a lot of crossover. I told here, you. Right? I told yeah. you our top ten is crossover. Yep. My number four is Scythe. Oh yes. We Good already one. talked about it. It's four X. Yep. Beat them up. Not really, but. It's kind of a uh, area control, resource uh, management. Definitely yeah, resource management. You have a good, I forget, like the oil and uh, yeah. gold. Those uh, tokens are amazing. It's so good. So yep. Good. Yeah. All right, what's yours? My number four is game we're playing right now, our campaign that we're playing, Kingdom uh, Death Monster. Man, 
ADM is my number four. I forgot about that game. And I didn't think <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be this good for me. Mm. I, I, like, I was I was worried that you didn't like it. Like it, you know, those types of games I usually don't like get sucked into. But I've been really enjoying this. I've had a few frustrations with some of the dice rolling in it just because it is so chancy. Yeah. But man, the miniatures in it are just amazing. I like miniatures here. Just just ridiculous and um, beautiful game. Uh, the storylines and the choices you make. Like, That's the coolest part oh of the game. If it was just the fighting phase, it wouldn't be that great. But creating your settlement yes. is like what takes it over the edge. Yes, I, so. love the, I love the story in it. I love the artwork in the book. Yep. Um, it's dark theme. I yes, like. it's dark theme. It's an adult themed game. They have expansions set out to like 2020. Yep. Um, yeah, it's, it has become one of my favorite games of all time. I'm glad. I, I'm glad we're playing it. All right. That was your number four? That was my number four. All right. And I'm going to be sad when we all die. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's bound to happen. I know. I know. All right. We're in the top three games yes, top of all three. time. Yes, top three. What is your number three? My number three is Manhattan Project Energy Empire. Dice placement. Dice placement. Oh, yes. I love dice placement. Um, I love Manhattan Project. And then I picked this up and I liked Energy Empire even more than the original Manhattan Project. Like Manhattan Project yeah. almost made my top 20. Wow. But this kind of bumped it out and has become like my new. They're totally di two different games. They are, yeah. But I just love Energy Empire. Just it was a lot of fun. Even yeah. more, it's you're you're after the war trying to clean up. So it's kind of that almost like CO two where you're kind of trying to create um, clean energy because you're trying to clean off your board because you don't want any pollution. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I really really enjoy it. That Fine. is my number three. Okay. Energy I don't even say my hand project. Just energy and and, yeah, energy it's, energy. yeah. My number three is a Simon game. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't pay. Uh, uh, how many is like on your top 15? Uh, like, like nine? <laughs> one, two, three. It's funny. Four. Only four. Only four. my top 20. <laughs> they make good games. Yeah, um, yes. It is Arcadia Quest Inferno. Ooh. Not regular Arcadia Quest. Inferno. Is the newer made it, version made it better? Yeah, it made it better. They they tweaked the rules. Yeah, a little bit, not much, mm -hmm. but they. I think the characters are more balanced in number mm -hmm. the second one than the first one. Um, oh man, the game's so great! You really need to play it. I do. You and yeah. you and Emily have like went through it and multiple times. Like just loved it. That's her favorite game. No, really, she likes Zombicide more. Whoa, yeah, because wow. it's okay. completely co-op. Okay, yeah, because yeah. like, she didn't like having to battle you. Yeah, because if it didn't have that, it probably would be yes, it would be. It's so much fun. You're rolling tons of dice. Like sometimes you're literally rolling twenty dice for your character. Yeah, like and attack if you or get like the, the crit ones. You can, like, yeah, you really, keep. Yeah, yeah it, it's got exploding dice where if you crit, you roll another die. If you crit, you roll another die. Yeah, yeah. It's just a blast. I love it. The theme's cool. The, the little monsters are awesome. It's the chibi. The miniatures are chibi anime yeah, miniatures. Yeah, I, yeah, I think there's some of those. Up. This is my favorite guy. This little dragon dude. Yeah. I can't see that. <laughs> yes, Arcadia Quest Inferno, my number three. Awesome. Okay. Number two. Number two. Number two. We're getting down to it. We are. My number two is The Voyage of Marco Polo. Really? Yes. Wow. Number two? Yes. I... Really dice placement. I should have known. Like <laughs> dice placement. Wow. Um, I really like this game. You hated it the time we played just because it didn't work out for you, I felt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got kind of screwed over in it. Big time. Kind of my fault, I think, for reading instructions eh. poorly or not. It was the symbol. The symbolism yeah, yeah. at one thing one way, in one area, in but one different area, in a different yeah, area, yeah, which yeah. bugged me. But, but just right on your board. I really liked it. Every time I've played it, I've liked it. Even if I don't win. I like it. It's a fun game. I just like that I, you roll dice and they're your it's a dice placement. And but there's a board where you have to explore and yeah, I just like it. Yeah. Right. My number two. Okay. 
My number two, you said already in your list as well. Uh-oh. Yep. Told you crossover. Crossover. Lots of crossover. <laughs> it is a uh, space game. Yeah. You can do it literally anything. Zaya, Legends of a Drift System. Oh, man. We still haven't played a 20-point game. No, we, we played... Uh, 10 or 15, uh, right? I think we played a 15. But I really want to do like an all day long twenty point game, yeah. and get to like the level three ships and I everything. Think, uh, did I pick up a level three ship last time? I, I think you did. Yeah, the name of that last you game. Did, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of ways to get points. Yes, yeah, and, yeah. and I got the expansion for it now too. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Um, it makes it a little bit harder to explore and get points. That's fine because I didn't like the where you could just deliver and go back. Like, yeah, it like changes farm, that. Like, farm yeah. between two. It, it also changes, remember, you can get those little tokens. Yep, yep. And they had fame points on them. Which I never They got. rarely have fame <laughs> points on them anymore, so. Good. It's a lot of Good. fun. Um, probably makes the game a little bit longer. For short games, maybe. That, that was my complaint about short games, is you can just go and farm the fame points off. And end it super quick, yeah. Super quick, yeah. But, yeah, it's, I really want to play it again, and I love that game, yes. so. Zaya Legends of the Drift System. <laughs> All right, before we get to our number one, we're, we're going to cover a couple that just missed our top yep. 20. Just missed the top 20. All right. You going to so, do all three of yours, or... We'll do... do two, well, we'll start... Uh, my number 23... Okay. ...is a dexterity game where you're tossing magnets. Oh, really? Yeah, I love... Wow. A, it's called Attraction. Man, we picked that up at Grand Town. Yeah, and it's little... By r and Games. Earth magnets, right? Yep, yep right and you, earth magnets. You can you flick them... And if they hit and make a set, you get to pick up the set. Yeah. If you flick it too hard, it goes off the other side of the table. You can catch it with your magnets, and then you get to add their magnet to your pool. And the first person, or once all the magnets are out, whoever has the most magnets wins. It's super easy. I yep. played the game 30 times, at least. Yeah, I'd probably. <laughs> if not more. We've probably played it. Like, I played it with my son yeah. probably 30 times. When you play it, it's like, okay, let's play a game. And it's such yeah. a quick setup. And then, yeah, you play I Love it. I it's recommend trying it. It's like 15 bucks. You just yeah. need to buy it. It's yeah. great. Just don't put it on your computer. <laughs> <laughs> It'll jack it up. <laughs> yeah. So that is my number 23. Your monitor. <laughs> yeah. What's your number 23? My number 23 is a dice, a dice game. Are you placing them? <laughs> you are placing them. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. It is, what is the name? Lords of Vegas. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah that Lords was a Vegas. good one. Um, it's building casinos. Building casinos, yeah. yes. And you have to have uh, your the higher point of the dice, you get the more majority of the buildings. Um, yep. You can change the color of the buildings. It's kind of a um, random chance for what comes or what sells for more because once so yeah, much sells, right. then that is no longer worth anything. So then you have to switch over all your buildings. And you kind of have your hotel or your casino mixed with somebody else's but it's all the same like white building but they have dice in it too but you control it it's a lot of fun uh, i really really like it it's like i compare it to a better version of monopoly okay. is what i think of it as um, but that is my number 23 all right my number 22 okay is another dexterity game uh oh you're tossing a bunch of dice down the platform ah tumbling dice tumbling dice oh, good one. oh i love that game and i got we got like 20 sets of that. <laughs> well, not that. I have 14. Because it only comes for four players. Yep, yep. So I bought another set of 10, well, 10 sets of dice, dice to yep. add to it. So we can play with up to 14 people now. And usually at our events, there's like 10 to 12 people yeah, that get up. And, and they go around. Circle. And there's just a million dice on the table. Yes. And it's a blast. Yes. And then they bump out the last two. And then they get yeah, kind so of a competition style. You have D6. You're, you're either flicking them or rolling them down this platform. The top level is times one, times two, times three, times four, the yeah. further down you get. And the very bottom level is only little tiny sections. Yeah. Yeah. And there's pegs that block you and stuff, so. Yep. And then you multiply whatever, how many pips are on the die times whatever level you're on. That's your score. So if you get on the bottom level with a six, it's like. 24 points. Amazing. That's a lot of points. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you, you play three rounds and whoever's got the most points wins. Yeah. Simple. Super simple. A blast. Yeah. My Super father-in-law simple. actually even played this. He doesn't uh, play games. He got up and played tumbling dice with his. Wow. Yeah, yeah. that's fun. Up. Yeah, twenty-two. Twenty-two. So my number two, twenty-two is Zulkin the Mayan Ooh, Calendar. Yeah, you love this game. I do love this game. This was like one of my first work. For this guy has another game coming out this year that made that. What? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I forgot what it's called, but yeah, I um, should have been on my most anticipated game. Yeah. Um, but 
the, the, the mind calendar, it's the game board is these five gears that interlink together, and each round the gears turn in and affects how the game plays. Like all the gears turn. Yeah, so it's the main cool. gear They're turns, together, and yeah. it turns the other gears and your workers. So you either place workers or you take your worker. And when you place it, what you want to do is let it get further down on the gear because then you get better benefits the longer yep. you're, you're... You can wait. The yeah. longer you can wait. So it's kind of one of those things where you want this character to stay really long, so you might have to place other characters and take them off the board sooner than what you might want to right. just to get that one to do something really, really heavy in the game. Yeah. But love it. It almost made my top 20, but... Yeah, you know, two. That's not bad. Twenty two. Yeah, so. Yeah, so twenty two. All right, my number twenty three is my only deck builder. Twenty three or twenty two? No, I already did my twenty two. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Tumble and Dice. Oh. My number twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah, twenty one. Yeah. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I was like, my what? number twenty one <laughs> that just missed the top twenty list. Yes, is I think my only deck builder. Really? I'm not a huge fan of deck builders. Whoa. I don't. I just don't. This one's co op. It's it's of the legendary line. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. It's, it's it is. Legendary it's Encounter. Yep, uh, uh, so it's the alien movies. Yep, I was going to say it's aliens. In a box. And in a box. Aliens in a box. <laughs> aliens in a box. <laughs> Open up. <laughs> There's space chest. huggers, chest bursters. Yes. Um, it's a lot of fun. It, I, you I play really through enjoy the movies. You do. Yeah, yeah, you can play through. There's actually snares how to build like all three of the movies. Yeah, Dad. Forget about the rest. <laughs> but I really enjoy it. It's really, really it hard. Is. I don't think we've ever won it. Uh, we've come, we've got, we came really close. We like, got like the vent down and everything, and we were close, but we just, and that's the cool much. part. It's not just like, oh, get points. It's like, oh, you need to open up the vent. Oh, yeah. You need to clear the, the kill the mother and oh, stuff man. like that. Like, you have goals in the yeah, game. Yeah, there's it's not, goals. It's not just like, oh, I just, which is why yeah. trains is really, trains would have been close too. Really, that's a really fun one yeah, too. Yeah. So, but, but yeah, that was my number 21. That's a good legendary one. encounters. We've always alien. Got a lot beat in that game, but it is fun. It yeah. is a really fun game. The worst part of legendary is, Building the decks and then taking them apart at the yes. end. Oh, man. That's the bad part, but... Shuffle 50 different things and then, okay, let's separate these all out. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that makes me sad. It's like a deck builder. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Except DC, because they... You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My number 21 is Stone Age. Woo! Dice placement. Dice placement. Well, not really. Yeah. I mean... Well, not dice placement. It's you place of, the workers and you, you roll dice workers, based off how many... Yeah, yeah. so... You place workers, and then you roll that many dice. Um, the better the resource, the higher the higher you need to roll. So, like, gold takes, I think, a five or a six to get it, but it's a six. So the more dice right. you roll on a six, the more chances of getting chances gold. Of but if you roll gold. a 12, then you can get two gold. Exactly. So yeah. if you roll three dice and it's all, you know, four, four, and four, you still get 12, so you get two gold, yep. which isn't bad. That's a good game. It, we play it a lot online. We play it a lot online. Board Game Arena. Yeah, Board Game Arena. I bought a copy because it was out of print forever. Yep. And then it came and re they reprinted it. Yep. I picked it up. It comes with a leather leather dice cup. It smells bad. It is amazing. <laughs> it smells so weird though. <laughs> um, but that barely missed my my list. Okay. I really really like that game. All right, let's get on to our number ones. It missed my list because all the stupid victory point mathematics you have to figure out in your brain. Oh, okay. Because gold is worth six, and this is worth five, and it's like, oh, you can use these five resources. And it's like, okay, six, five, two, five, four, <laughs> uh, ah! math, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's a good game. Love it. Okay. On to our number one. Let's do it. This is it. Number, number one, one game of all time. Yes. Do you want me to go first? Go ahead. My number one game of all time. I have every expansion for it. Every expansion. That every, come expansion. Up. every expansion. You're not like Trickle Me, it just has one expansion. No, right? no, 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 no. I think there's I think there's like three or four expansions. Hmm. It is. I'm drawing the blank. Ooh. Okay. It's, it's not a dice placement game. It's not a worker placement game, either. This is crazy for me. Okay. It is Five Tribes. That's your favorite game of favorite all time? Favorite game. I love it. Wow. Yes. You pick up tribes, it's kind of like... Mancala, right? Mancala, where you pick them yeah. up and you set them as you move, and then wherever your last person lands... You get to take that you action. You get to take that action and all the meeples off of it. Of the same color, right? the same color. Yep. Um, 
just I really rip. like. I don't know why that's not on my list. Uh, I'm surprised it wasn't, wow. but um, because you really like it. It's not even up here. Yeah, what the, I must have forgot to write yeah, it down. Maybe I didn't rate it over. Wow, it, it's uh, one of my favorite games. Well, it is my favorite game of all time. I, I whenever I have a chance to get at the table, I will get at the table and play it because I just love it. And the expansions make it even better. Uh, I've added. Our biggest complaint was five tribes, but doesn't play five players. Yeah. New expansion, five players. Five tribes officially. Uh, five tribes officially. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was did five different races in the game. Yeah. So that's why it's called five tribes. Not because. Yeah, you don't not play because a tribe. You play, yeah. Not because you play the tribes, but now you can play five players. I like it. And as expansion, it makes the board bigger. And yada, yada, yada. Hmm. It's, it's good. good. Wow. I know what yours is. You know what mine is. Yes, because you because you haven't said it. <laughs> There's it, no surprise, right? No surprise. It's Kingdom Death Monster. Yep, yep. Oh my gosh, this game is just... I was super excited for it when the second Kickstarter got out and I got an early bird pledge on it. The 1.5 version. The 1.5, yes, yep. Yeah. The second edition, yeah. yeah. 1.5 edition. edition. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, and we got it and I had to talk these guys into playing it because yep. they are kind of like, eh, yep, it kind of yep. sounds dumb. Like... Josh and Matt didn't want to play yeah, it. Didn't we played play it, it the first time Matt bought it that he, night. He bought two copies of it. <laughs> the game. Un, 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 not intentional, but he bought two copies of it. Yeah. <laughs> and then Steve owns a copy too. Yeah, so, like, yeah. three of us in I'm the not, group I'm, not, I'm not buying a copy. By Matt's. No, no. No, it's no, not. No. There's no reason to own another copy of it. No, I will come playing it's here. The perfect theme. It's like the game was made specifically for me. It's like you go out, you fight a giant monster. Come, you harvest it for resources. You try to improve your settlement, and there's a bunch of story, and it's just kind of RPG ish. Yeah, it's kind of you build. It's pretty much the closest you can get to an RPG without playing an RPG. Put armor on your characters. You put different weapons. Yeah, and things become proficient in things. They can in the future train people in your village. They don't all die. Right. (laughs) It's completely co-op until Matt kills one of your people. Yep. Which happens all the time. Or Steven rolls ones and then does Murders his, half the village. And then does his, oh, I'll use my one lifetime re-roll, and then rolls a one Roll again. another one. Three. Oh. Three times. Yeah, he used two. Oh, and then he, oh, my gosh. It's a great game. It's brutal, but... It is brutal. It's a lot of fun. We are, um, we are barely squeaking by in our campaign. Yeah, we are. We're but, barely... It's like we almost die off, and then we just make a little bit of a comeback, and we almost die off. Well, this last game was really, really good. We finally, it was. I felt like... We came together we, as a we, settlement. We got some good stuff. We did. We were rolling, hopefully. Yep. I say that now until the next game. I know, yeah, <laughs> until we all get murdered again. So. I bought almost all the expansions that are out for it right now. I just don't have one of them. Which one don't you have? Sunstalker. It's like a big shark-headed, oh, okay. tentacle-y yeah. thingy, yeah. but... Do you, have the, do you have the big uh, circle head one? The big circle one? It looks like a moon almost. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of... Are you thinking of the dung beetle knight? He yes. rolls on a ball yes, of dung? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's coming. Um, I ordered that as part of the second Kickstarter, so uh, okay. it's on its way. Because but... like I was saying, this has expansions all the way up to 20. It's got 20. 25 expansions for it. Yeah. And they're not like full expansions... You just add them in. Yeah. Um, but you can do, like, you can start a new campaign that's completely different, like a, a side campaign. And mm-hmm. some of them he actually added in as part of the second Kickstarter where you can take, like, three of the expansions and you can extend your campaign. Like, after you've done the 35 years, if you make it, yeah, you can go off and do the second, like, you go and explore this new city that you found called, like, the Silver City or something mm-hmm. like that. So it's going to be even deeper into it and stuff like that. You can play a single player up to four people. We're playing with four. Yep. The only crack part is if someone dies in the hunt phase that they're kind of sitting yeah, there. Kind but of. Yeah, but that's... That's the game, I guess. Usually if you die, everybody else is going to die off not much farther behind you. Yeah. Because, so. I mean, it's you need all four people. You do, there. yeah. It gets rough real quick. So that is my top game of all time. It's I just love it. I want to play it all the time. <laughs> um, it's a good story. It is a lot of fun. Yes. So. Um, that's it, right? Yes. That's, uh, you've got yours? That was our one through ten. Uh, we did our 11 through 20 in another video, yep. so that was our top 20 games of all time. Yes. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, tell, tell us. Yes, tell us what your number one game is, or what your top five games are, or even your top 20. Tell us how wrong we were with our games. Yes, tell us that Kingdom Death isn't number one for John. Yeah, right. Don't. <laughs> um, if there's a game that you think 
that should be on our list, yeah. put it below, because we haven't played all the games, so yeah, maybe, maybe mean, you'll list some that we've never played. I mean, we have, what, between us all, we have 500 games, 600 games, yeah. so we've played... I would say a fair amount of games, but there's so but, many games. I mean, over 3,000 games came yeah, out this year yeah. alone, so, or last year alone, so yeah. it's no way anyone can play all the games. No, no, so no. Next Surpri- year, we'll see what's different, right, when we come back to this. Surprisingly, Global Urban wasn't in your top 20. Yeah. Because it's on BGG right now as number one. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I've played it a lot, actually. Um, it's no, there's no dice. Well, I, yeah, yeah. There's no you, dice. It's it's fun, but uh, I don't know. It's it's okay. just not not your style. Not top twenty for me. No, it's really wild. Yeah, okay. Kingdom Death's better. Arcade Quest is better. Wow. Okay. And Zombicide is probably better. You're just crushing, I, you're I crushing still, people's dreams. I know. So I I haven't I own Dark Massive Darkness, but I haven't played that yet. Mm-hmm. Um, it's Zombicide, but your characters level up throughout the campaign. So I think that. I don't need to get that to the table. I've got to convince it's my gonna, wife to play that. going to be your next. I think game. that'll inch Zombicide yeah. and Arcadia Quest back because it's completely co-op, but you level up too and you okay. get better. And Consentical's going to be number one next year, right? For all of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We don't need to do 2018's yeah. top. I mean, I'm, you know, I, I, all the family classics are also, you know, some of my favorites also. Mm. If I did like a top Uno. 50. No, no, like if I had a top 50, you know, you'd have like Ticket to Ride and Country Song. Yeah. Stuff like that. Well, maybe I next mean, year we'll do top 50 instead oh, of 120. Man. Like, I had, like, Dr. Reek on my list. Yeah, that's a good one. Like, I, know, I, yeah. I had all these games. I had Rhino Hero, and it uh, just missed I had Rhino Hero Super Battle on there. Yep. Because um, that's a really good game that came out this past year that, it, that is fun to play. And especially if you're playing with, like, adults that are drinking, it just <laughs> makes it yeah. so much better. Especially when they're tipsy. Yeah. Like, literally tipping with the tower. Yeah. The, <laughs> Oh, man. So, yeah, um, thanks for joining us yes, for like, our list. Yes, for our top 20 list. Yep. Like us, subscribe. Find us on Facebook, Down the Vent. Down the Vent. Down the com. Yep. And uh, come back next year and see what our yes. top <laughs> if you're here next year plus ish games are uh, next year. We'll like, do it again, right? Right? Yeah. In the early 2019. Yeah, yeah. So, Definitely. we'll see if Kingdom Death's still number one. We're here to stay. We are. Yes. Yeah. So. Till next time. Till next time. See you later.